Here is an unusual device called the Haptic Braille Communicator. It is created for the communication with deaf-blind people. Unlike all other solutions, using Haptic Braille almost does not require having a knowledge of any special techniques. A deaf-blind person uses the Braille alphabet, which one usually knows, and the other person uses ordinary oral speech, which is recognized and transmitted to the communicator. The communicator presents a small box the size of a cell phone. On the front panel there are six keys. These keys represent the braille dots. On each side of the keyboard there are numbers indicating the order of the keys and the dot to which they correspond. With the help of these keys, a deaf-blind interlocutor, if one does not speak, can type texts, which will then be read by a speech synthesizer. Also, on the surface of these keys, there are unique elements that, through vibrations, transmit the speech of the sighted interlocutor, converted into Braille. In addition to these keys, there are two buttons on the top of the device that execute different commands depending on the context. At the bottom, there is a group of switches that allow you to change the settings of the communicator. That is the mode of its operation, whether the symbols are transmitted as a whole, by all points simultaneously, or transmitted sequentially. You can adjust the vibration intensity. You can also change the speed at which the symbols are transmitted and turn the device on and off. To work with the communicator, you need a smartphone running the Android operating system on which the application is installed. It is this application that does all the work related to communication with a person who is deaf and blind. As I said, the advantage of this device is that it almost does not require special experience, knowledge and skills to work with it, which makes it possible to use such a device in very different situations. A family, for example, where a person suddenly completely loses sight and hearing, or various organizations, where deaf-blind people can come and get the necessary help, advice and communication without the need for help of a special interpreter. As the people say, there are situations when two is company and three is a crowd, for example in the office of a lawyer, when property issues are discussed, or in a doctor's office, while discussing some very delicate topics related to health, in which one would not want to devote anyone outside, even a well-known translator. Not to mention places, such as libraries, and all kinds of social institutions or organizations that provide services to various categories of people with disabilities. Previously, totally deaf-blind people simply could not come there because they would face this communication barrier. So how does the communicator work? The device has two main modes – hear mode and say mode. In the hear mode, a deaf-blind person listens to what a sighted person says to him. So how does this happen? Pressing the button activates the mode – I'd like to talk to you. Press the green button to talk. Press the red button to refuse to talk. An invitation to a conversation sounds. The sighted person presses the green button and prepares to say his greeting, speech and so on.
I want to talk to you. Press the green button to agree or the red button to refuse. Hi, I want to talk to you. You wanted to say, Hi, I want to talk to you. Press the green button to agree or the red button to refuse. You've heard that communication takes place in the mode of dialogue with the communicator. Of course, the buttons green and red must be pressed not by a deaf-blind person, but by his interlocutor who can see and hear. After the message was recognized, and confirmation was received that it was recognized correctly, after pressing the green button, it immediately begins to be transmitted to the communicator through vibrations, and the deaf-blind person can read it. If it's not immediately clear what was said, the speed is too high or the vibration intensity is too low, then you can change the settings if necessary and you can reread the message. It is possible to reread the message by words, by symbols, and so on, before continue communicating. Suppose I understood what the interlocutor wanted to say and I can speak well enough. In that case, I can answer orally to what was said. Then, by simply pressing a button, invite my interlocutor to further conversation. Let's continue talking. You wanted to say, let's continue talking. Press the green button to agree. See, in this case, there was no longer this large inviting text. There was just a signal that indicates that the device is ready for speech recognition. Suppose I cannot speak or the interlocutor does not understand me well enough or does not understand me at all. In that case, I can use the communicator to hear what one says to me and say something myself. To do this, I switch to the say mode. So I type text using this keyboard, which is located on the front panel. I am delighted to have the opportunity to be heard by you. I am delighted to have the opportunity to be heard by you, I typed in. If necessary, if we are talking about something significant, before sending the text for pronunciation, I can also read it, as in the hear mode. And if everything suits me, only then send the text to the interlocutor. If the interlocutor does not understand, is not used to the speech synthesizer, the just spoken text can be repeated by simply pressing a button. I am delighted to have the opportunity to be heard by you. I am delighted to have the opportunity to be heard by you. The device can work with the phone as a headset. That is, the microphone and speaker are located directly on the communicator. And in this case, the smartphone can be in your pocket or even somewhere in your bag. You do not need to access it at all. Here, I would like to note something 
important from myself, because deaf-blind people are very different. Among them, there are both visually impaired, deaf and hearing impaired, blind. I belong to the latter category. I am practically deaf. I communicate with the world around me in the voice, but thanks to super powerful devices. In a situation where I find myself without devices, they fail or there were no spare batteries, such a device can help me out very well, because in my environment practically no one knows unique methods of communicating with the deaf-blind. Yes, frankly, I have a very poor command of the finger alphabet and practically do not know sign language at all. Therefore, the appearance of such a communicator personally inspires me, because in some extreme situations I will not be left without communication, without connection with the outside world, which is extremely important for this category of disabled people. Besides the main communication functions, our communicator has several other possibilities. In particular, it can be used for teaching. Both children and adults braille alphabet, if they don't know it. Soon there will be a special mode for this in the application we are using. In addition, the device also has a special training terminal mode. Suppose you are just beginning to use the device, or your deaf-blind acquaintance, friend, comrade, relative or child is just getting to know the device. In that case, some unclear situations may occur when the device does not work or does not perform the expected functions. And now, in terminal mode, a sighted person can see what is happening, what buttons were pressed on the device, what text was typed, what was done, what was not done. And if necessary, prompt why the device did not work in one way or another, or correct the situation if some kind of technical glitch has appeared.